families have had parts of their new homes torn up to rectify the problem. And as Ben Fordham reports, they're determined to win compensation. Doesn't seem worth it. It's, I'd never build again. I just feel cheated. This is supposed to be Kylie and Peter Velvin's pride and joy, a brand new house and land package. The only problem is the land is too small for the house. The first time we knew there was a problem was when they came along and chopped the eaves off. So they chopped them straight off the house? Yep. Did they get your permission to do no. that? No. The eaves had been hanging over the next door neighbour's fence. The Velvins suspected that maybe their block of land was smaller than what they'd seen on the plans. Kylie says that's when she confronted the site supervisor. And he said, no, it's right, I've checked it. And I said, well, I want you out there to measure it again and I'll meet you out there and help you. It took us going out there and measuring it to actually discover there was a problem. And on five previous occasions, you had said to them, hey, we think the land's too small. Yeah. And they said... They said, no, it's been measured five times. The Velvins bought a statesman house and land package built by Hickenbotham Homes. After finally agreeing a mistake had been made, statesmen vowed to get back that metre of land for Kylie and Peter. But that's going to have major implications for the bloke next door, who had his home built by the same company. They've bought a house and land package, and I've bought a house and land package. I've moved in. I've been here for 16 months, and, you know, this is what we get. Glenn Seller is the unlucky neighbour. So the fence was here when you moved in? That's right. Since then, we've put the pond in. Uh, we've also put on a veranda, uh, spent nearly $6,000 in extensions. Uh, I've also put a spa, spa in, and to be told that... Basically, the whole veranda and fence, the whole lot's got to be moved back by a metre. It's just not on. He thought the land was his, which is fair enough. The fence was there, it was put up by Hickenbotham contractors. The blunder has put the Velvin family under considerable financial strain. Work on their house came to a halt two months ago, and since then they've been renting another home, as well as meeting interest <laughs> repayments on the new one. I've sent numerous faxes, given deadlines of when I want a phone call by. Not happening. They just don't call back? No. They really do see the house and they see the fencing and there's no reason, or query, reason why they should query uh, that they aren't on the boundaries. As a licensed surveyor in Adelaide for more than 30 years, John Bested has witnessed many first home buyers fall into a similar trap, all to avoid survey costs of around $500 for an average size block. In lots of cases, people that buy properties uh, don't opt to spend that money, and I can understand that, to have a survey done, uh, but in the end, it is, uh, it is probably false economy in lots of cases, because if you are caught out and there is an encroachment, then it can be an agonising, long drawn out procedure to solve it. According to them, there's no negotiations with you guys. It's not rubbish, true. absolute rubbish. These future neighbours have vowed to work together to ensure Glenn and Melissa Seller are fairly compensated for the thousands of dollars worth of extensions that are now facing the scrap heap. I wanted to move in here, you know, make new neighbours and that kind of thing, and no. I didn't want any problems between us. No, and that's right. They're trying to play us off against each other. Well, it's not your fault and it's not my fault, it's basically. Right. It's yeah. uh, someone's to blame and it's not us. It started off with the metre box being in the middle of the driveway. That, um, painting wasn't done properly. Uh, the carport was too short, had to get an extra half a metre put on so I could get the car in the garage. So the car didn't fit in the garage? The car didn't even fit in the garage. <laughs> Gary Nitschke's mother and father-in-law live across the street. Their house was built by the same company. So many little bits and pieces, like asked about roller shutters and it's too hard for them to do. Like we said, put it all in the price, too hard. <laughs> Couldn't do an alarm system. Um, screen doors, they sent out the screen doors wrong twice, so it's like, well, we'll do it ourselves. We'd never build, re build a new house again. Never. Daryl Burns, another frustrated customer. They were drinking beer all day. There was beer bottles all over the site. And he the said, builders were drinking beer? Yes. While they were building a house? Yep, doing the brickwork. And what did Hickenbotham say when you told them oh, that? He said, like, um, everybody has a drink on, on their work. And I said, well, if I drink on my job, I'll lose it. I can't believe that. Our dream house turned into a nightmare. Once we started filming this story, all of a sudden, things moved quickly. The eaves have now been replaced on the Velvins home, and yesterday the fence was moved. But both families tell us they'll still be seeking significant compensation. If you buy a house and land package, you don't go around and measure your fencing and everything like that. And for it to happen, say, 16 months down the track, it's just not on.